Welcome back. My name is Lewis, and we're going to show you how to taper the legs on a tuxedo pant. Now, if you're familiar with the tuxedo pant, it has that side stripe that looks beautiful running down the side, but it makes it very difficult for you to taper it if it's a little too flared. So the one way you can do that is just by taking the inseam in, but that's not really professional and not how I want to show you today. We're going to do it the professional way and take it in on both sides and reset that side stripe. So let's walk through that together. So you're going to have your pants marked like you would a normal pair of pants. The amount you want taken in at the bottom and then where you want that taper to stop. And then from here, we're going to divvy up the measurements to make sure that everything is going to be taken in the same amount. So we have our marks here and we're just going to divvy that up over the pant. So for this guy, we're going to be taking in only an inch on the bottom of the pant. We're taking the pant up 22 inches. So let's take our mark and we're going to transfer that onto the inside. We're going to go from this side of the pant. And then next we're going to do some math. So now we're going to divvy up some of the measurements. We know in total, we want this pant circumference to be an inch smaller. So to do that, we're gonna take it in on both seams. So you have to half that measurement, making it a half an inch on both seam. And then you're going to be taking fabric in from both panels. So you, so you divide that in half again, giving you a quarter of an inch on each panel. On the satin side, we're going to take our ruler and we're going to mark a quarter of an inch on both sides of the satin. And then once you get close to the top here, we're just going to taper that back in to those seams. And then connect the rest of your dots. And now you are set to rip apart everything on this one outside seam with the side stripe. Take the stripe apart, release the two panels all the way up into where you want to taper back in. So just to keep in mind, this is going to be an alteration where the satin stripe is sewn into the side seam. If you have a tuxedo, like a lot of these older ones, where the side stripe is just top stitched on, you're going to do it a little bit differently, but still pretty easy. And I'll explain that for you real quick. So all you would do for a job like this is you remove that applied stripe. You're going to take in the out seam like you would a normal leg taper, and then you're going to rip apart the inside seam so that you have a flat surface to top stitch this back down and then sew this back closed in the amount you want tapered. Um, super simple. You shouldn't have too much struggle with that, but if you want your own video on it, let me know. But let's take our seam ripper and start ripping apart these pants. Also make sure you rip apart the serge seam right on the inside that's holding that satin on there. So now at this point we have everything ripped apart. The satin is removed from the two panels and the two panels are separated from each other. Now what we want to do is reattach this side stripe to the back panel where it's sewn into from the outside. And what you're going to do is you're going to rematch up this satin side stripe right here onto that line that you marked that is your quarter of an inch all the way down. Now you can use needles, you can just try and hold it in place as you use the sewing machine, but I've found that using a hand basting method is going to be the most secure way, making sure nothing gets shifted around while you're sewing it through the machine. So let's grab a needle and some thread and we're gonna hand baste this all the way back onto that side stripe. If you are unaware, basting thread is just very thin, weak thread that we use to hold pieces of fabric together. As you can see, it snaps pretty easily. Nothing too hard here because you want to be able to remove it easily. So we're going to start that in on that seam, take a small bite. And in this case, we are going to lock that in. And then from here, take about like a one inch stitch and go all the way through. As you can see, there's already a crease right here. So you're lining that crease up with your chalk line, not the edge of the satin.
So as you get to the end, we're going to just tie it off, kind of like how you started. Take a, bit, a decent sized bite, making sure everything is laying nice and flat, and then just double it up on itself. And then break that thread. So now here on the outside, you will see that we have that stitched nicely right there on the fabric. Double check, make sure there's no waves because our next step is to take it onto the sewing machine and stitch a straight line to keep that secure. Now this step in the pressing process is just to make sure that we've done our job right. And what we want to press out is we want to press the outside seam flat that will be connected to the other side panel and then this part of our seam down. We don't see how you see here how that kind of came undone. We don't want to unpress that crease because that's going to be our line to sew everything back together. So all you're really wanting to do is press this to make sure your work was done properly and to prep us for the next stage. All right, I think that looks pretty dang good. What we're going to do now, take this to the machine. And we're going to run a very small stitch at the very edge of our satin to keep the satin and this back panel together so that we can do our next set of basting. So while you are doing this next part, you wanna be very careful not to pull this satin down or then you'll get weird little creases kind of going down the leg. You wanna make sure everything is being pulled straight across and nice and tight so that there's no, again, ripples kind of bubbling across this way. So just be very careful for this part. You can loosen your stitch up to like a three so it's just a tack. And there's our stitch right along the edge. We're going to have this wrap and then we're going to stitch this edge to our other panel. But first, let's hand baste it into place so that nothing gets shifted. So just like our other set of hand basting, we are going to take this crease and we are going to match it up to that line on the other panel. So we can take our project, turn it inside out. We're gonna to wanna to start up a little bit into the original stitching just to give us a good straight runway for what we're gonna do next. Grab a bite, back tack on itself to hold it all into place. Start stitching, making sure that crease lines up with those marks. So once you have everything basted, you are now going to use this line as your new guide to sew everything together. So let's take it back to the machine and finish that off. And for this next part, if it helps you to keep a nice straight line on the inside to measure the width of your satin and then translating it from this outside seam over, that'll kind of help you figure out where your crease is going to be if you don't want to have to keep hand stitching and then rechecking on yourself. But all this stuff is prepped. We're gonna start on this far end. Back tack and go ahead and sew your straight line. Now that we're done with that, we can remove all of our basting stitches and then press all of this wide open so that we get a nice flat seam. And there we have our applied satin stripe down your tuxedo pants. You're already getting a difference between the two leg panels, which is exactly what we were going for. Go ahead if you want to run this outside through a serger or zigzag the edge so it doesn't fray, that'll be perfect. And that's all it takes to be able to taper a pair of tuxedo pants keeping that side stripe. Hopefully you found this informational and useful. If you guys have any other sewing questions or want to follow along for all the other sewing tutorials, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel as we will be posting most of those here.
But again, thanks for watching, and we look forward to working with you next time.